So what I find particularly interesting about Faust and about its role uh, within German theatrical culture is the challenges that it often poses for performance itself. So in my own research, I look at theatre as a live art, as a performance. Fast is a very difficult text to stage. Um, it was never really written, as far as I'm aware, to be staged. It was a closet drama, a closet piece, so that people would read it together. And aside from the length of the text itself, um, it takes up, up to five, six hours to, to actually stage in its entirety. Um, the, the vast changes in scene, the theatricals that Goethe includes. Um, so when the poodle transforms into, um, into uh, Mephistopheles, how, how do you stage these things and how do you represent them on the stage? Within German theatre, what is also interesting is that they have a different approach to texts to the theatre in the UK. So here in the UK, if you go to see a Shakespeare play, you expect to see the play as written by Shakespeare, realised on the stage. So a, very, a recent example would be when Benedict Cumberbatch was in Hamlet at the Barbican, and they moved the famous to be or not to be speech, and there was an outcry, so it got moved back to its proper place. That's not an issue in Germany. Within German theatre, they have one tradition called Regie Theater, so director's theatre, in which the director will take a text and kind of represent their impressions, um, or perhaps look for a key theme in the text um, and use this to kind of determine what will take place on the stage. So in a way, Faust no longer has to be staged as it was written, but it can be staged then as a reaction or as a response, or the director's response rather, to the text. One contemporary playwright, Lutz Hüfner, kind of responds to this himself in uh, one of his plays, uh, Gretchen 89 Folgende, um, which he wrote for himself and his wife because they were looking for a, a two-hander to play together. In this play, he takes the scene in which Gretchen finds the earrings that Faust has left for her um, and plays it through ten times as a conversation between the actress, the actor in some cases, playing Gretchen and the director. One of the funnier scenes, the whole thing is a comedy and it is very humorous because of kind of the, the attack, the self-attack that the director is, is, is doing to himself, um, is a scene called the Streicher. Um, so it's all about cutting, removing. And throughout the scene, um, we go from this very beautiful speech uh, that Gretchen gives um, Well, es ist so schwül, so dumpfig hier, und Mutter ist nicht da, etc. Um, gets cut back and back and back and back until at the very end, the Streicher has the actress come in, find the box, and all she says is, ah, wie wunderschön, Mama. And so it's this response, um, all these different responses to how it could be played. Another interesting take on Faust um, that did actually happen in the UK is, uh, was by the... Um, production company Punch Drunk, who specialise in immersive theatre, so theatre in which the audience enters into the performance space, into the space of the, the theatre, um, and is allowed or able to explore and follow their own traces of the text, maybe follow an actor through different rooms, or go and look through drawers and experience um, the items that are there. And they did this in 2006 with Faust. And so the question then would be, what does that type of performance, this immersive experience, do to us as people in the theatre, as viewers? And what does it do to our engagement with the text? How does it shift the way that we approach this literary text? And does it then open up new routes into Faust? Does it allow us to have insights that perhaps aren't there in the text and that perhaps brings the text into the modern day? 